Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today is another figure drawing practice video and I'll link to the first video where I talked about this a little bit more. But basically it's just uh, an artist resolution for myself where I want to wake up every morning and practice figure drawing since that is a huge skill that I need that pretty much all artists need and I have not been giving it enough attention. So this is some of the figures that I've drawn over the past week or so and there have been a few days where I skipped drawing it and the next day after when I made sure that I did draw I could feel the difference. Um, when I was drawing several days in a row I felt just much more lubricated I guess as far as getting the gesture and the energy within the figure and then when I skipped a day and I started the next day I felt really stiff and rusty and I felt a lot more hesitant with my line work and when I had that practice when I was going and going and drawing the figures it just just it, it had a lot more fluidity to it and the energy that I wanted um, and I wasn't as bogged down by trying to get these scratchy little fine details. I found that I was able to remember the process that I needed to get the um, the full action in there first and do much more of a general gesture and then start working on the details. So it's, I mean, it's one of those things that everyone knows. You know that you need to practice and when you don't practice, you get kind of rusty. But over this past week where I had definitely drawn several days in a row, drawn figures that is, I draw every day, but drawn these figures where I felt very much more confident. I felt like I was growing and then even just one day, just that one day of not drawing, it threw me off and I could feel that. And in a lot of ways that's kind of exciting because it means equally where I can be thrown off by not practicing. It also means that I'm getting built up by practicing and that that is a tangible benefit that I can start right now. Where a lot of times when there's art, it feels really like you know that you're progressing and you know you're getting better as you practice and you draw, but it's not always evident in your work. It's harder to see it because a lot of times it's a longer process of being able to get to it. So when you look at your past work, you can see how far you've come, but when you're looking at your own work now, it's hard to see that progress, but, but I can feel it when I'm practicing the figure drawing consistently. So that makes me feel really excited and encouraged to keep working at this, this resolution that I have for myself. And I've been having a lot of fun looking up a reference for these. It's just, it's always really exciting. And maybe that's a weird thing to get excited about, but I love it when I'm looking for reference and I find like, an absolutely amazing reference where it's this really cool pose the lighting is amazing because that's always that can be kind of tricky is finding a really good reference but one that has good enough lighting that I can see the details because a lot of times I find like a really amazing pose and it looks like it has so much action and energy and this really cool gesture line to it but the lighting is obviously meant for more of an artistic expression so that like half of it is black and really dark and I can't see what is actually happening in the shadows. So that's always really frustrating. Uh, but it's, it's really exciting when I can find a really amazing reference that has a lot of detail to it, a lot of motion and energy and a really great um, gesture line that I can get into my drawings because that's always it's always really fun to be able to find something that I'm excited about drawing and to be able to actually draw it. So one thing that I've been noticing on how I've been working is that I'm kind of in a weird middle point where uh, when figure drawing, there's a few different um, executions or thought processes, processes that you can have when you're drawing. Like uh, at the beginning, it's really good to get the line of action for the full figure down and then gesture draw and that's where you get the bulk of the figure down where it's really energized and you're just getting that motion and the action to it and then you start building up more accurate proportions and details and I feel like I'm kind of in the middle point of that I'm not focusing enough on the raw energy and getting the line of action and then when it comes time to where I have most of the figure down I'm not really slowing down and looking at how I can get some of the details in and get the proportions correct so coming up I think I'd like to kind of slow down and think about what I'm trying to accomplish in that exact moment 
And I think that'll really help me to be able to get the action and the motion better, but also to start getting proportion and details down a little bit better. But that is pretty much it for this video. I really enjoy drawing these figures and I'm excited to keep drawing them because I can feel that I'm, I'm getting better and I'm getting more excited about drawing the figures. So that is my goal. I want to be more excited about drawing them. But that, yeah, that's like I said, it's pretty much it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.